The world has watched the heartbreak and hope in Turkey and Syria as the devastation of the earthquake continues. But maybe this doesn't have to happen in the future. And with me is Dr. Errol Culkin, the CEO of Quake Logic, to explain his company and, and what they're building. So, Errol, welcome. And great to have you here. And I understand you're working on a better technology. It could have prevented something like this. Can you explain what, what's happening at Quake Logic? Yes, absolutely. Thank you so much, Jane, for having me. Um, yeah, this earthquake uh, sequence is devastating for, for the country, right? For, for Turkey and Syria. And uh, this is beyond what we have experienced before uh, in terms of the widespread damage. So, with Quake Logic, uh, my company, we are using AI um, and um, the cloud services it's basically to monitor the structures in real time. You know, before if something like earthquake can happen and create like a widespread damage. So we have the technology uh, to get all the sensor data and uh, to check if the building has any issues beforehand, if there is any weakness. And not only for buildings, you know, we can do the same thing with the bridges, uh, you know, tunnels, dams, all the critical infrastructure. So, so far, you know, we've been working with very iconic structures. We already implemented our system to the world's uh, largest suspension bridge, uh, which is now in Turkey, about the, twice the size of Golden Gate. Um, we also implemented our system to the world's tallest concrete building, uh, which is in Kuwait City, and um, another, you know, world's largest concrete arch bridge, uh, which is in Nevada in Reno. So those are those are the you know one of the iconic structures. So in addition to structural health monitoring, um, so our company will also provide earthquake early warning systems. Um, this is a very critical you know the component as you could imagine, uh, especially if the if you are very close to the fault line. So we call it uh, the blind zone, uh, where the seismic network based earthquake early warning systems cannot provide you enough timing. Uh, but we do have the technology that using the sensor data immediately recognize the arrival of the, uh, you know, the earthquake waves. And then when the strong shaking is going to start, so it provides uh, at least a couple of seconds, you know, the warning. Um, the system is also utilized automatically shutting down the gas valves, you know, opening the gates and uh, bringing the elevators to the closest, you know, the floor and opening the doors. Um, so this is a great system for, especially for hospitals, you know, the airports. Um, mm -hmm. So to prevent, you know, the further damage or provide basically um, saving the assets. So that's pretty much the technology we have. Explain how the AI works. So um, is there data that's plugged into a system and then um, that way it can tell you um, if there's some structural um, issues that are fragile or something so we don't see like a building collapse. Can explain that. And then is the data stored in the cloud? Like how does it all work? Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. Okay. So the AI technology we have, we develop, you know, together with the University of Toronto. It's a joint efforts. Um, so it's basically using the data that we collect in real time from various different types of sensors in the structure. And it's uh, unsupervised. It's basically train itself and learn how the building is actually behaving, even you know before before some major event happen. You know this could be earthquake, this could be hurricane, or it could be you know the over time the aging of the structure and you know some structural components uh, may some start having issues like the cracks. So the system constantly checking if anything goes with the structure and if it recognizes it, it sends an immediate notification. So this way we know where the problem is and the inspection crew can go and you know check that specific locations. So this is a preventative, preventative um, solution. Okay. And especially for you know the aging infrastructure, we think that this technology is gonna be uh, you know saving a lot of um, time and uh, as well as avoiding any kind of uh, disasters. Yeah. Well, and I would think it would be a money saver as well. You invest in the technology and then you don't have, and of course, the loss of life, um, you know, but you don't you don't have all this tragedy, both, you know, life and financial that comes from these disasters. And I can imagine this would be a growing industry. We've seen, you know, an increase in hurricanes here in the U.S. over the past 20 years or so. Um, I mean, are you seeing globally there's just more of these disasters? 
Absolutely. You know, with the climate change, uh, you know, we see extreme, you know, the events, right? Like the flooding, um, the hurricanes, um, the earthquakes. So it's been, you know, the, the, the entire world has been under, you know, quite uh, um, like the challenging times lately. And we definitely think that this is uh, the technology for uh, for now and for future where, you know, we can monitor our infrastructure and prevent any, you know, the further issues beforehand. How expensive is this technology? It is actually quite affordable and reasonable because um, we use the cloud services. We use all existing, you know, the platforms. And so all the data is, you know, the streaming to the cloud and then we do all the computation and um, on the on the cloud servers. Um, so, yeah, it is it is extremely affordable. It is and it can save, you know, not only the time and efforts, but also the money to um, eliminate the okay. regulated inspections. So, yeah. It's, so would, would this be something that businesses would buy or governments would buy or both? Oh, yes. So our technology is basically for not only for the government and organizations, but also definitely for the commercial, for the for the businesses, as well as for, you know, even for the residential, um, the buildings as well, like the homeowners. So we, you know, we can basically provide the structural health monitoring for their facilities, um, as well as, you know, the earthquake early warning system. Okay. Uh, sometimes we provide both of them as an integrated system. So this way we can inform them before the earthquake coming. And after the earthquake, they know that if there is any, even for the minor structural issues, they know that if their structure is safe or not. Very interesting. How can somebody find out more about QuakeLogic? Oh, yes. QuakeLogic.net. We have uh, we have a great website with all the information. It's very, you know, uh, clearly shows how the technology works, our, you know, the, the current clients. So, yeah, all the information is available on our website. Okay. Dr. Kalkin, thank you so much. Uh, very interesting. And it sounds like a technology that could be useful to a lot of people. So thank you so much. Thank you so much, Amy. Appreciate it.